From the New York Times, I'm Katrin Benhold. This is The Daily. After failing for decades to cut carbon emissions enough to stop the planet from dangerously overheating, scientists are increasingly looking at backup measures. Some that would fight the warming by intervening in the climate itself. Today, my colleague Christopher Flavel on the efforts to engineer our way out of the climate crisis. It's Friday, April 5th. So Chris, you've been covering climate change for a while, but recently you've been focused on a very special project. Tell us about this. Yeah, two things have been happening in climate change recently that are really important. Number one, records have been falling at alarming rates. Last year was again the hottest year on record. Much the world surpassed this sort of important threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. So the world is getting warmer at an alarming rate. Mm -hmm. At the same time, emissions aren't falling. Right, the sort of the message of the last generation has been: we need to cut emissions really to almost zero by the end of the century. And in fact, the reverse is happening: emissions are continuing to rise. Hmm. At the same time, the number and characteristics of weather disasters have become really alarming. So the effects of that warming have become really clear, and it's clear that the world is struggling to adapt. To those effects. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that's happening is sort of a, a high level is there's more research and more consideration of, okay, what if we can't cut emissions fast enough? What if we're going to have this really severe degree of warming? Can we do something else, maybe temporarily, to sort of buffer those effects? And that's led to this question of what kinds of changes can we make deliberately to the atmosphere, to the environment? that will maybe produce some sort of artificial cooling in the meantime. From the New York Times, I'm Katrin Benhold. This is The Daily. 